Once a week, Cliff Satterfield does his part to preserve a piece of Madison County history. It's a piece you probably have passed traveling through Jones Valley, a little family cemetery dating before the Civil War. In 1939, the Jones purchased what's now Jones Valley from the Garths, who had bought it from the Drakes. It was the Drakes who began the little cemetery. Hence, most of the markers Mr. Satterfield mows around belong to the Drakes. Yes, the same Drakes that give Drake Avenue its name. All oh, righty, right in here. Yeah. There go right in that corner there. Right, put the person there. Yeah. There's much mystery surrounding the graves. It is known that two Revolutionary War soldiers are buried here and some of the family servants. Unfortunately, many of the graves are unmarked or damaged. Cliff and fellow co-worker on the Jones farm, Roger Laster, have tried to piece things together. Some kind of child, I, I make out child right here is about the only thing I really can make out of child of somebody. It does take a detective of sorts to sort out the unknowns. One thing's pretty certain though, the more time that passes, the harder it will get. Sister John N. Drake. Okay, this is some of the Drake family. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I don't know where that cousin, I guess that's what that is. Cousin of John N. Drake, I guess that's what that is. So this must have been John N. Drake's cousin. It's kind of like doing detective work. Yeah, really. Whether you're a detective or not, the next time you drive down Drake Avenue or Garth or go through Jones Valley, you might just remember the little cemetery and those Huntsvillians who came before. This is Dick Curtis at Large, Huntsville.